Hi, I'm Derek Roddy. Okay, listen guys, um, any drummers that are interested in doing this type of playing, there's a couple of tips that are essential, I believe, um, to being able to do this, physically being able to do this. The first thing is hydration, water, not beer, <laughs> not sodas, water. You know, it falls from the sky for a reason. It's the lifeblood of everything, and it lubricates us in a way that will allow us to be able to do this type of thing without blowing a gasket. <laughs> so really think about that. Hydrate yourself when you try to do this stuff. Uh, the second thing, breathing. Okay, um, most people, whether it's drumming or you're in construction or you're hammering nails all day, most people, when we do something that is strenuous, will hold our breath. I watch guys all the time pick up a box. <gasps> it's not what you want to do when you're doing this kind of physical activity. So breathing is something that I've, I feel that's very, very important because if you don't have oxygen in your, in your blood, you're going to cramp. Another tip um, that I, I like to give is just simply being aware. If you're aware of a problem, you can fix it, right? And a lot of these things that I'm mentioning now are just things that just go unnoticed. So what I would do is I write them on my snare drum. Breathe, sit up. That's an important thing because I see a lot of guys doing this. You don't want to have any back problems. Sit up, um, drink water. Um, these are all very, very important things that just, again, if you're not consciously thinking about them, they just kind of float away in the wind. <laughs> so especially in a live situation when you got everything else you're thinking about and it's just helpful to be able to put yourself into a place of actually listening to yourself play the drums as opposed to actually playing them. And that's like another little tip that I give myself a lot is I, I, I tend to like to play as if I'm already hearing back the recorded drums. That helps me as far as balancing out my tones, my tom volume for my snare volume, for my kick volume, cymbal volume, all of that type of stuff. And again, just being aware of this stuff helps 100 times fold. Now, breathing, how do I get better at breathing? Very simple, in four bars, out four bars. One, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. This transfers to this type of thing, blasting, very easily, right? Right? Very simple. Again, very overlooked. Okay, so balance is another big key factor in being able to do this because, you know, double bass, guys that don't play double bass, they're left leg typically becomes a human kickstand on the hi-hat. And then we got all this going on and you're anchored to the ground, right? Um, the reason I feel balance is important is when you're doing double bass or you're doing any of this kind of blasting or anything is one foot goes up, the other comes down. One up, one down. One up, one down. You're constantly shifting your weight, right? So if that's the case doing this, that means that you need a strong core. You need to be able to center yourself on the seat and not have to rely on your legs at all to balance, okay? So here's an exercise. Sitting on your drum throne, take your sticks, put your hands in front, right? And just without leaning back, right, what you wanna do is just pick your feet up. Now this is very, very hard to do. Now you can see I'm leaning back a little bit, so what you wanna do over time, let me tighten up this throne too, that helps. You don't wanna be moving all around. Um, Okay, so without leaning back too far, pick your feet up like three inches off the ground. Now, if you do feel like you have to lean back like I'm doing now, eventually when your core gets stronger, you'll be able to, man, this is hard. <laughs> this is harder than playing these dang things, um, but it really helps with your development and you don't wanna pull your feet under. See how my feet are wanting to come under now? You wanna keep your feet like parallel out and sit 
man, that's hard. <laughs> but that's another really good thing to develop this solid foundation on your throne, which is absolutely crucial to being able to do this stuff. Okay, now in this section, I guess, you know, drummers kind of expect exercises, but again, these are just things that are overlooked that I feel that if you don't have this stuff together, exercises aren't going to matter. You know, you can be, do exercises to your blue in the face. If you go on stage and you're holding your breath and you're not breathing, you're never going to be able to get through this, okay? Um, and again, if you want to learn more about the blast beat stuff, you want to get into the exercises, I have a whole course here at Drumeo. Head over to Drumeo.com, check them out. 